Hi, I'm Johan, and welcome back to our Objective C series. So, Objective C actually builds on the C programming language and adds object oriented uh, capabilities. Understanding its basic syntax is actually crucial for writing Objective C programs. And you're actually going to see it is not that different from Swift or actually from C. There are some differences, but in the end, it actually looks all a little bit logical. Okay? So, the basic structure of an Objective-C file actually looks like this. So we actually import the needed frameworks. We define the main function. And we, and we write all the code in our auto release pool. With import, we can actually import the frameworks. So that actually means like, for example, UIKit. And that allows us to actually use all the UIKit uh, classes and objects. The main function actually has two uh, parameters. So we have the arc C and we have the arc V. So the arc C is actually the argument count and arc V is actually the argument vector. And these are actually used for common line arguments. After that, we have the other release pool. So compared to Swift, Objective-C doesn't have like a garbage collector. So this actually means that we have to code most of the memory management ourselves, but the other release pool actually makes it easier to manage memory because in the auto release pool it's going to release uh, objects and everything automatically so it actually kicks it automatically out of memory the moment we don't need it anymore so after that we did the ns log so ns log is actually used to print information into the console and ns log is actually a little bit similar to printf in c but in objective c it's actually used for logging okay so let me actually make this a little bit like this. Let me actually make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can read it. So like every programming language, the first thing we're going to learn about is variables and constants. So in Objective-C, we actually use different keywords for declaring a variable or a constant. For example, int for integer, float for floating points, double for double floating points, char for characters, and we use bool for variables. And for constants, so those are actually values that can't change or cannot change, we actually use the const keyword. So this is how this works. So let's go inside the other release pool. And we're actually going to write int integer var is equal to 42. And don't forget, and don't forget the semicolon, right? Because in Objective-C, the compiler and objective c don't understand when it's the end of a code of a code line right so line 17 ends at the semicolon in swift swift actually automatically understands that objective c is a little bit different and we actually need the semicolon to actually close off the um, the line so after this we can actually do float oh this is going to be float and this is going to be a float var is equal to 3.14 so just for memory so this is an integer this is a floating point after that we can do double double var is equal to 2.71828 oh let's actually semicolon and this is going to be a double float floating point and next is going to be char, char var is equal to a. This is a character. And last but not least, we also have bool. And booleans is actually going to be bool var. And this is going to be yes. So, compared to Swift, in Swift we also have booleans, right? And in Swift, we actually use true or false. In Objective-C, we actually don't use true or false. We actually use yes or no. It doesn't really matter which one you use, but just so you know. So we can also declare a constant. How this works is const. We're going to say int constant var is equal to 100. And this is a constant. Just like this. 
as you can see it actually what's wrong oh this has to be equal so as you can see this is actually pretty easy right so variables constants it actually is pretty straightforward so now we actually have to do something we actually have to print our information into the console so what we can do is nslog inside here we're going to do add string so this is how you declare string we're going to say integer equals to and we're actually going to add the percentage and the d now the percentage and d we actually uh, print an integer ver value inside uh, nslog and for this we're actually going to call the integer var, integer var so that's actually what we're going to print so the moment when we print integer this is the value and it takes the value from the integer var okay so we can actually do this one more time nslog add string this is going to be a float and the float instead of the percentage d we're actually going to do percentage f comma and then we're going to say float var and then semicolon let's actually copy and paste this a little bit so that we actually don't need to uh, rewrite everything all the time three four five and six so this is going to be a double and for the double we're actually going to do percentage lf and this is going to be double var next is going to be the char so for char for character we're actually going to do percentage c and we're going to say char var next is going to be the boolean and for the boolean we're actually going to do percentage d again and we're going to say uh, boolean boulevard and last but not least is going to be the constant and for the constant we're actually going to do percentage d as well and we're going to say constant var so this actually starts to look a little bit like a program right so we actually created uh, six uh, variables or five variables and one constant we actually used integer floats doubles characters and bools and we use a constant of int and we actually use nslog to print it so let's actually run the program click replace and let's see what happens and as you can see everything is nicely ordered inside the inside the console so this is actually pretty nice Something else that we have inside Objective-C is actually the string. So Objective-C provides a powerful class called the NS string for working with strings. Um, for the people who don't know, strings are sequences of characters and NS string offers many useful methods for manipulating them. So what we can do in here, we can actually say inside the other release pool, we're gonna do NS string. And when we declare it, we're actually gonna do the time sign so that's actually the little star we're gonna call greeting is equal to at and this is a string so we call n a string then we call the star and the name of the string and then after that we assign a value so in this case we can say hello objective c let's actually create another one so we're gonna say ns string star name is equal to at Johan, so that's my name. And now we can actually do something that is called constatating. And constatating strings actually use the string with format. So what we can do is ns string star personal greeting is equal to, and we're actually going to open up an array. So actually the brackets, we're going to say ns string space string with format and inside here we can actually create a format and the format is going to be at string this is going to be percentage at let me see really quick comma percentage oh percentage at exclamation mark and we escape that and we're going to do greeting and we're going to do name one more time. So we declare an NS string. Oh, we actually have to do this. Then we actually give it the name by starting with the star sign. Personal greeting is equal to. We open up the brackets. We call the class of NSS string. 
and we actually call the underlying function string with format, and we actually give this a format. So what this means, we actually call the string, so this is greeting. So this one, what you see here, is actually this value, and this is going to be this value, and this is going to be the end of the string. You can actually compare this a little bit to Swift uh, string interpolation, right? It's almost the same thing. So now what we can do, we can actually do ns log, and we're actually going to do the personal greeting. So in here, we're going to do personal, uh, we can actually say just greeting. We're actually going to do percentage %d. So with percentage %d, no, 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 not percentage %d. We actually need a percent with at, because that is how we actually display the string. And we're going to do escape that, comma, and we're going to say personal greeting. This is pretty cool. So, oh, we forgot the semicolon. Don't forget those. Those are really important. And if you really want to uh, piss people off in JavaScript, you have like friends of yours, actually um, take the semicolon away and actually replace it by the Greek question mark. It's actually the same. Um, it looks actually the, exactly the same as the semicolon, but a lot of compilers don't know the difference and they're actually going to crash and your friends are going to be really angry. <laughs> Okay, so something else that we can do with a string, we can actually count the length of a string. So what we can do here is actually nsu into integer. Then we say length is equal to, we're going to open up the brackets. So we're going to call greeting, comma, no, no comma. We're actually going to do greeting length. Incompatible pointer, no, that's okay. And in here, we can actually say ns log, and we're going to do add length. Then we're going to say percentage l u, comma, and we're actually going to open this one up. That's parentheses, and we're going to say unsigned space long. And after that, we actually say length. And a semicolon. So let's run this and let's see what happens. Let's see how our Objective C program is doing. Pretty cool. So as you can see, we actually have the personal greeting. That's this one. So hello, Objective C, Johan. After that, we have the NSU integer length and we have length of 18. So this is really, really cool. I really love this. So um, this is going to be the end of this video. In the next video, we are going to, let me see. In the next video, we are going to learn about uh, operators and control structures. So like basic operators, like arithmetic, uh, logical operators. We're also going to talk about control structures, like if, else, uh, switch, loops, and everything. So that's going to be really cool. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, come to the comment section down below, or actually come to the Discord channel. Uh, we will actually create an extra Objective-C channel there so that you guys can ask questions about Objective-C if you want to. And yeah, let's go to the next video.